Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, so I thank you for coming to this meeting today. And uh, like I mentioned last week, I was uh, interviewed by Mr. Alan Williams, uh, service brand Global Limited uh, UK, and who also has this program called Values Jam. So, and I promised him that we were going to have this meeting and uh, do a video uh, to show him, you know, uh, all that I learned in that meeting with him last week. So last week we talked about team building, which is what we're going to discuss today. So now we're going to look at it from four dimensions. What is team building? What does team building look like? Uh, why is team building necessary? And then how can we develop that team building spirit? You know, unfortunately, Chica is not here today, but uh, since we're recording this video, she can actually watch it later, you know, and also know what we shared in the meeting. So, it's an interactive session. So, what is team building? Yeah, um, team building. For me, uh, an act of getting people of diverse um, opinions mm -hmm. and um, different way of working mm -hmm. to come together and have a single aim mm -hmm. and object, uh, objective of getting something sorted okay. Okay. as a group. Okay. And then on time and effectively. Beautiful. I like that. I like that uh, definition. People of diverse uh, cultures, experiences, backgrounds, and then bringing them together to work as a team. I, I really like that definition, Casey. Thank you. That's the main thing achieving the goal and achieving the goal. That common goal. Yes, that's so common goal. despite the fact that they're all diverse, they yes. have their different opinions, yes. they have one goal, one focus. Okay? So what does it look like? What does team building look like? Just like you gave us that example about sports people. Okay. For instance, we are doing a, I think FIFA World Cup or something. Yes, yes. Let's use those people as an example. Mm -hmm. If if they don't work together, okay. As eleven in a group, mm -hmm. if they don't work together, they won't be able to achieve their their desired objective or goal, mm -hmm. which is to score and win their opponents. Yes. So I think basically that describes teamwork. No matter whatever, all of them came from different clubs mm -hmm. to represent their country, mm -hmm. but their team is to carry that one cup. You understand? Yes. So, yes. That's basically I, I like that. You said they all came from different, different country, clubs. different clubs yes, yeah. to represent yeah, their country. country. And there could be a tendency to want to outshine. Mm, no, so if they that, do yeah. that, they there's no more team yes. building. I like that. When we are saying team building, definitely they, have, they will have a team leader, a team leader yes. that is going to seek definitely opinions of the team members on mm -hmm. what do you think or how do you think we can get to achieve this goal of ours mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. depending on the time frame how long the, the goal is expected to be achieved okay. something like that so it's just buying the idea of your team leader mm -hmm. working so that you get that idea to become a movement mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as the taxes now mm -hmm. and then to achieve the goal mm -hmm. at the end hmm. i like that getting that idea to become a movement mm -hmm. so i like that now there's something i want to ask you know which probably would address why team building is necessary and that question i want to ask is is there any room for each team member showcasing maybe their talents or their skills, something that they're good at, you know, that is good for the whole. I think so, yes. Okay. How does that work? 
Okay, someone you know seeing this different people. Okay. One person definitely will be good at a particular part of what you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. Let me let me take myself as an example. Someone that enjoys football, mm -hmm. that plays football. There is this thing we call time wasting. Mm -hmm. You don't have to fake injury. But then there's someone that can hold on to the football for a longer period of time and you cannot take the ball from him. Mm -hmm. You end up fouling that person. Okay. So when you now want to work as a team to maybe say get this sorted, make a table for instance, there'll be someone that have this gift or an a picture in their head mm -hmm. that might say it but not know how to put it together. Okay. But then in that group of people, mm -hmm. another people, person will be able to read the idea you have get a design out okay. that other people will now like mm -hmm. you've now seen that it's not like one person is outshining the other mm -hmm. but there's someone actually that has a particular gift or way of understanding things mm -hmm. and it will make it the work easy or easier for mm -hmm. the team to do instead of saying okay if we do the first table and it's not good yeah, we'll try break that. Mm -hmm. and start another one mm -hmm. you first of all have to get everybody's idea on what type of table do we want to make? Mm -hmm. How do we make the table? Where do we start from? And how do we finish it? Mm. I like there's something you said at the start that I I that resonates with what I see with the uh, teams. You know, uh, sometimes you have an idea. Now somebody in the team is able to understand and interpret that idea mm -hmm. and then sometimes even as they're interpreting it it may it may even be clearer to the one with the idea yes you know so a picture is being formed that the 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 team can see because once they're able to see that picture then they can run with yes. that picture you know and achieve that goal so I think it's a very good thing, you know, when when you're sharing, because I, I experience that a lot, you know, when I want to do, embark on a project, you know, as I'm sharing that project, there's a picture in my head, but as I'm sharing it with a team, and because we're diverse in our thinking, now you would find somebody is understanding it on another level, maybe not the way I originally, but when I think of it, what the person is saying, you know, and I, it's like, oh, this even sounds better than I originally thought. And another person adds another idea. Before you know it, that singular idea becomes a beautiful idea and something that is realizable. Mm. Yeah. It's a good one. So, how can we now, as a team, I know our team, we're not so many, uh -huh. there are just four of us, you know, how can we develop that team spirit? What can we do, you know, to become a formidable team? You know, and where we're recognizing each person's strengths tapping into each person's strength and allowing it to make our work even better. Okay, in team, uh, in a team, the first thing is acceptance. Ah. Yes, because once we are able to accept the fact that all of us, we have different ways of understanding things and we all have different skills and abilities, just like we bring it down to our units. <laughs> Um, though Chica is not here, but I can attest to the things that she can remember things. Okay. As in, she has that. Mm -hmm. Maybe based on the fact that she has been here longer, in this unit, longer than all, all of us here. Yeah. So she can remember things very well. I, I remember the, the, there was a unit I was in. If you're looking for any documents, if you're looking for anything, just call Chinya like this. She will just. So if you're able to like accept. You're not to comply in it, bringing it down to admissions unit. We always have a time frame to be able to achieve some of the things. So it's not just about 
having a, 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 a goal our units will also have to achieve it within the time limits that we have that's the basic thing about admission so we must be able to like harness these things accepting each other's abilities different abilities work with it together with our competition and everything we'll be able to achieve our goal as a unit admissions unit in this university within the time limits that we have mm. beautiful beautiful casey do you have something to add to what you just said um Okay, I'll see. I'll just use myself. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, most times, a tax is given. Mm -hmm. You want to get this thing ready, and I say in two weeks. Mm -hmm. And someone like me will not start immediately. Yes, I know that. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> someone like me will not start. You will immediately. start in the night. <laughs> um, I was talking about the team leader. Mm. Uh, should be someone that has this, um, it's a gift mm -hmm. of being patient. Mm -hmm. You have to be patient with the different people that are in your team. Not like, okay, I understand this person better, and you're making another team of yours mm. in a team. In a team. Mm -hmm. Aha, mm -hmm. that's true. That happens too. True. Mm. That brings a lot of confusion and bad blood. Yeah. Mm. So, that's just it. You have to know how to relate so many things mm -hmm. and then be patient enough to get what this person is doing. And that's patience, uh, having that gift of understanding. So yeah. that's what I think a leader of a team should have. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, Casey. I like that, you know, because uh, and I'm, I'm glad you brought the area of a team leader, you know, because in a team, obviously, there is a team leader. So, and this team leader must understand the team and how each person works, you know. So, if I go back to Casey, especially with the directorate, mm -hmm. now, Casey has a way of reaching the students, you know, anytime I say, Casey, I'm looking for this person. How can we trace this person? He has a way, and he will always come back to me to say, I found him, you know, or pass this message on to the student. He has a way of connecting, you know, and I know it's a strong point for Casey. And just like what he rightly said, if you give him a task, for instance, like uh, developing the mentorship uh, um, data, you know, mentor mentee data, and uh, 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 putting parents' uh, names on the parents' uh, uh, forum platform, he will do it. He does that a lot at night, you know. And then, if as a team leader, I do not understand the way he works, mm -hmm. you know, I may be thinking, but I gave you a task to do and you're sitting, mm -hmm. you know, but I, I have already understood that he will do it and he always delivers, you know. And then he knows too that sometimes middle of the night, because I don't sleep all through. You know, I remember something, I'll text to him. And then whenever he gets up and sees the message, he responds, you know? So it's, it's just like you said, it's acceptance, understanding the team, accepting each member of the team, understanding the fact that everyone is important and brings something to the whole, you know? So once we are able to understand that, you know, then we can work as a team and work seamlessly. So, thank you so much for this beautiful session and I hope you got something out of it like I did. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so very much. Yeah. And then maybe from time to time we could do this for ourselves. You know, take up a value and just speak around that value. You know, that way we develop ourselves, you know, and then when we're able to exhibit all this, you know, the students that come to us will benefit. The parents that come to us, again, will be happy to see that when they come into admissions, when they come into the directorate, there's, there's a synergy and there's this cooperation, you know, and we're working together. You know, as a team. Thank you so much. NJ, thank you. Casey, thank you. 
And we also thank Caitlin who is videoing. Mm -hmm. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you so much. So we can now have our refreshment. Mm -hmm.